Hello everybody, and welcome to my Feed the Beast Let's Play. I'm just going to create a new world right now, and see where I go. Uh, I'm not going to burn this chest on, I think, today. Now, I haven't had a lot of luck with this so far. I have uh, mo creatures added as well. And twice now I've been dominated by a werewolf, basically. Um, so I'm going to be smart this time. The last one, which is on my YouTube channel, was... I, d I kind of found a nice open plane, which is nice for the late game, but it's I th I really not a good idea to build a house in the middle of an open plane because you're surrounded from all sides by enemy creatures and things. Unless you can get a um, wall early enough to make a bed, it kind of screws you over. So I'm going to go with my classic uh, build a house in the side of a cliff or wall or big dig underground a bit strategy, which works a lot nicer because you've only got one kind of point of entry where um, you could potentially get attacked from. In the last one I actually um, dug down during the night for something to do. Oh, okay, where am I now? I dug down and into an open area and I didn't know it was open to the sky and so the werewolf got down and annihilated me and I only had like a wooden sword. So, I'm going to take the high ground I think. High ground is kind of always good. But not, let's see. I always find in Minecraft the best way to go is either go really high ground so things can't really get up to you very easily, or go very low ground. Um, so there you go, there's a mo creature creature, it's a fox. Oh, that looks like a little alcove bit there. Oh, it's a. Uh, I hate when you get buggy lightning. Well, that was really dumb. But this might be not be a place, a good bad place to start. I'm going to have to use this dirt to get this get out of here. Oh, this is a strange place. No, it's actually very open. Um, No, it's, it's, it's too heavily forested here. I do not like this at all. Um, that's a deer, making a very strange noise there. How about I just dig into this cliff here, basically? Yeah, I think that sounds quite nice. Sure, quick send there. Because I've also got obviously the um, extra large, uh, extra large more more biomes. I can't believe actually called that. All the biomes, basically. No, I don't know. Really. And I've also got some face modding as you can see, which counts my arrows, which is really nice. And if I put armor on, it also keeps track of the state of my armor. So this is it's feed the beast, but I've disabled some things, such as drug tech, uh, build craft, uh, form craft, cooking exchange. So it's kind of more focused, and more focused on red power two and industrial craft, which I really like. And I've also added more creatures to that, and as I said, I've added these interface more. I still haven't punched a tree yet, I need to punch a tree. But that's going to be a nice, nice start, actually. I'm just going to bring this up. Oh. I use the clock on here, it's a bit cheaty, I guess, but. It's there, I'm going to use it. About midday. That's nice about dirt though to have four things. I can't build a crafting bench. I'm pro probably build a mobile crafting bench ASAP because I don't, I don't know if I'll stay here yet. I probably will. Um, it's nice kind of cliff to dig into. Get some. How far back does it go? It goes back some some distance. It's not too bad. Ugh, that's a big tree. I don't like big trees. It'll take like forever to take them down. I mean, well, it's not, it's not even that big. But um, on, on a previous Let's Play I was kind of doing, I don't think it ends up on YouTube though. Um, no, that was just my world I was playing on, I think. Yeah, I was playing it casually. And just trying out Feed the Beast. Um, there's 
an absolutely gigantic tree. Just a normal oak tree, but for some reason, absolutely gigantic. Oh, basically overshadowing this NPC village. And basically, the villagers didn't stand a chance. Which is a shame, because pretty soon they, was getting over they had a, also had an um, underground cave system underneath their village. And I think I made things worse, because I dug down into that cave system. I produced an entrance over top, but I hadn't built a door on it yet. And then suddenly, I think like five zombies kind of came from that place. I think I killed most of them, but I think they also did a bit of damage to the NPCs before I had a chance to there's something else there. Yeah, Mo Creatures is quite harsh to start off with. Um, because as soon as it's night, I'm going to get some horrible things spawning. As you can see on that map there, uh, all the question marks are Mo Creature creatures, which is a lot of them. And there's a red one there, which means it's aggressive. It could just be a snake or something. Some of them are aggressive, but only if you have... Oh, it's disappeared now. Alright, well that's nice. I was not... Oh, quicksand. Do not want to walk into that. Right. I can't walk. I don't know what mod it is that actually adds the, the portable crafting table. I think it might be factorization. But it's darn useful. It does kind of reduce your inventory size. So, like, it's not... You know, you still want to have normal crafting table as well. And, of course, project tables. But... It's darn useful. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that something getting stuck in the quicksand? That might be interesting, is actually uh, if I have hostile mobs get stuck in there, I can run, I can jump over that quicksand there and hopefully get them stuck. Right, so I need to build pickaxe. For now, I don't like building other wooden tools. I mean, I've got, I got some stone right here, so it's not a problem. And I guess I'll do it this way. Yeah, let's make it too, too thick because that's safer. I mean, creepers can actually detect you through a one thick wall, I think, or the, you know, if they know you're there, they will blow up. Uh, try and kill you for a while. So, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Oh, wooden picks are so slow. Some people just immediately switch to the um, stone pick, but I like to kind of use up the wooden pick first. Yeah, I haven't any sheep around, so I'm not going to build it tonight. So I suppose actually my priority should really be getting a door on this. And then I can spend all night um, improving my abode. I tend to stick with stone tools for quite a while. Um, the iron is so valuable in the increase of those things. Stone tools get basically everything you need. Like, or might, what we might tend to do is make one uh, steel pickaxe. Sorry, I keep saying steel. I mean iron pickaxe, and use that when it's it's an ore that I can't collect with uh, a non with a stone pick. I don't think this. I think this is this table I found is big enough to make a reasonable sized room. That's all I need. I might want to make an axe and go out and annihilate a few more trees. I don't want to touch get rid of that. 40 cobblestone is not, not a bad amount. I find early on I end up running out of cobblestone like, all the time. I think I might make another crafting bench. I've got this is a portal one, but it's nice to be able to right click on and not have to worry about your inventory. Right, um, let's make a sword. Sword, always important. Ugh. Wow, why my mouse control is really all over the place today. Might be there because it's a wireless mouse. Might be a bit of problem with the connection there. Move that around. Might be better. And obviously a stone shovel. I always go. I always kind of keep the same order of. Um, let's convert. Of that. I haven't hit any coal yet, so I better keep some 
back. Let's just make a stick crazy. Uh, so I can make charcoal. Might make another sword? Yeah, sure. I don't know what I'm going to be have to be fighting. And this early on, you don't need to worry about using up an inventory space. And I'll make another shovel as well. So yeah, there's the sticks. And I'll make a new item, which is very useful. Wait, I'll make the axe first, I think. No, screw it, actually, I'll make the... Yeah, make a couple of these, they're really useful. Which is a stone scythe. Which are very uh, good early on for gathering seeds. And harvesting crops and things. I haven't seen any long grass around here, which is a shame. But I'm sure I'll hit some eventually. What's time of day? Oh, shit, it's almost evening. Okay. Oh, wait, well, it, yeah, it's very, very almost evening. And I shouldn't have already converted all my... Well, most of my... Um, Finger bob into wood. You know, I haven't hit any stone yet, so I'm gonna have to build a fern square. Let's chop down a tree while it's still not quite night time yet. What's that one gonna do? It's a creeper over there, but I think I'm okay at the moment. Cool. No torches. Oh, oh, fuck's sake. I did not expect that. <sighs> I was like, I saw him on the map. I was like, oh, it must be you know, somewhere deeper, you know. Okay, there's a cave system somewhere here. Nope, nope, you just spawned in my house. <laughs> That's why you need a sword. This will be a rough night, I think. But if I get going, I should be okay. I've got, okay, I've got a bit of wood. 11 charcoal is not too bad. Well, I mean, I'll make slightly less than that because uh, you don't get to get all of it. And the first will keep my house lit somewhat as well. Uh, let's go with. I think that's one wood is enough to. I think. Yeah. I'm going to start rotating it around. Get me some torches. I'm starting to get a well off again. I'm just starting to get a well off again. I haven't... Apparently, I, I was, um, one of the things before I always killed any, um, well off during the day. No matter how much they've tested not for me to kill them. But apparently, because they tend to despawn, like, it's not actually a big deal, and you, it doesn't really do a lot to kill non transformed werewolves. I think the cliff went quite a lot this way, so. Extend out a bit more this way. from that. Okay, I'm getting a bit hungry. I think I'll survive till morning um, without any food, but then I'll start farming and... Well, if I chop down some trees, hopefully I'll get some apples, which might tie me over a bit. Let's make a chest, probably, actually, would be an idea. What I actually tend to do quite early is make a project table, because all you need to do is just smelt two stone, and that's basically all, you, all the ingredients you need so you can destroy um, a chest you've made. I think I might do that, actually. Yeah, as soon as... Oh, that's strange. It kind of stopped working there. Yeah, as soon as those have gone through, I'll whack two cobblestone in to use leftover heat from making these. Oh, that's strange. Okay, I'll whack in loads of cobblestone, actually, then. Because you never know when you're using stone in the future. Let's make some torches. Uh, I'll probably use five of these. Two, three, four, five. And leave four in case I need to. Twenty is not a bad amount of torches to get going with. I mean, it's it sucks. sucks. Okay, yeah, there's nothing around. Thanks to my map. And put one there as well. Oh shit. Okay, saying that, there's them guys. Aha, you can't go from my weak wooden door. Oh, it's enchanted by. I hate that, though. It doesn't seem any point in ha them having enchanted equipment if you don't get that. 
Um, seems just a bit annoying. But I suppose it kind of adds to the difficulty. So I've got two wood. Yeah, so if I... I, I, I can use my portable crafting table, of course, can't I? Yeah, so if I destroy that and that... Yeah, my portable crafting table. Thankfully, still got enough inventory space. Chest at the top. Do oh fuck! I need more wood. Ah oh, no! How do you do? Well, that is annoying, to say the least. How long till morning? Oh, it's midnight. Oh, great! Great. Okay, I'll put the chest back down there. And don't need it for now. Don't need that at the moment. Don't need that. Don't need like most of that. I guess I should continue using this wooden pickaxe, really. Uh, definitely don't need that. Don't need that at the moment. I use the thingy bob table. So yeah, oh, I've got stuck in a bit of dirt. That's nice. Tempt me to go underground a bit. Which I could, if, if I dig one more this way. It gives me a decent bit of space, and then against this wall. I will dig a uh, decade down. I mean, there seems to be some things there, but they're probably on the surface, to be honest. Oh, that sounds very... Uh, the thing that annoys me with Minecraft is the directional audio is terrible, and you can hear things through materials a lot more, so it sounds like that's basically a one thick wall, which is not nice. Yeah, I can literally hear them right on my left ear now. But I believe that that's not the case, and they are actually further away. Going deeper around the ground. I'm probably better off destroying them. Hopefully, hit some coal. I haven't hit any yet. There you go, use up this last of the wooden pickaxe. I haven't hit anything yet. This goes under the forest. Oh, and aluminium. Not all that useful, but I'll pick it up. It's not like I'm wasting pickaxes. I mean, they're made out of cobblestone. I'm going to have loads of cobblestone just from this little digging trip here. Probably want to. Let's put F7 on. Which will tell me where things can spawn. They can spawn nowhere here. Thanks to my great lighting setup. I don't actually need to put anything there, which is nice. Definitely needed to do that, did I? Oh well. Surprise, surprise, things can spawn here. I will probably put the torch there, which should fix that. What level am I at now? 59. Oh, I've got a thing coming up. I can't know what it's called. A uh, quartz crystal. It says at my top right corner if I actually bothered to look. Hmm. Yeah, I might run out from here a bit. Do it all. Still haven't hit anything yet, which I'm disappointed about. Or hit any. I mean, iron would be nice. But ideally, coal. And if I put a torch at the end, hopefully it will stop things spawning. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, that's a shame. I've got a lot more cobblestone now, and. It's almost the morning, so I can go outside and slay all those skeletons, basically, using, since they'll be set alight by the sunlight. I haven't got to use my stone sickle yet. Actually, what I might do... No, I don't... Yeah, now I've got some more. No, I need the sticks. Why haven't I got any sticks on me? I thought I took, like, half the sticks. Okay, I'm going to make some more picks because it's very good to have a stone pick in your chest. So if you die, you can come back and you don't have to start literally from scratch and get a wooden pick again. So I'll make like three of these. Also, pretty good idea to make a sword as well. But 
just so you got something to come back. I'm not going to spawn anywhere near here because I can run. I ran some distance from um, when I destroy this chest. And if, um, if I go out and get enough wood, I only have to destroy it. So I just want to take some of those with me, and I'll take some of those with me. A lot of red question marks around. Oh, okay, it's morning now. I think I'm going to risk it. I've got no creepers nearby. Should we have to do that? I can aggro them. Okay, I'll aggro him. I'll get me some food. Oh, I should get me some food. Where is. Oh, don't. There's a deer. I'm sorry, I say things in certain ways. I use. Um, I'm a Londoner, but I. I've lived in Plymouth for like four years, so I've got a bit of West Country twang sometimes. Oh, look at this darkness. I don't like the darkness. I don't like that tree either. That tree's going down. I don't know what dragonflies do. I hear some long grass, right? It's nice, it's long grass. So we'll look at that quick scent. Oh, we have some corn. Flats from Zyper, I believe. What's interesting is Zyper also adds another thing, which I might have just got actually. Yeah, Hennequin. I don't think that, yeah. Which, um, it's not what it's used for, except the leaves it drops can be burnt, and they are, I think, half the amount you need to basically do something in the furnace. So it's very kind of uh, unwasteful if you're just doing small, small amounts of things. Oh, that's the other good thing for six or four, uh, string leaves, so you can get to the lovely meaty wood inside. Also means you don't have to wait, you know, rather than waiting around for um, the leaf box to naturally spawn and drop the saplings, you can just get them a lot quicker. Because I want to start collecting saplings so I can tree farm. At the moment I'm just going to annihilate all the local trees. And then I'll basically flatten out the area a bit and replant them. trees on uh, uh, torches around them and ideally I mean not, well, later on I would use uh, Zycorderite earth uh, only one each to increase the growth that tiny bit but also it's good because it marks the area so you know where you've got, you know, you've got these constant areas where you always go to plant and obviously if there's not a sapling on that spot then you know you need to replant it which is nice. Zycorderite earth is uh, from Zycraft uses green sacorida right which you get underground. Oh look at this pretty fireflies. Yeah that's a pretty thick forest there. Which is not nice. Um thank you, I think I'm a good distance away from that. You know I can get to it if I need to Oh that's a snake. It seems like it's a happy snake. No, no 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 no. And I almost walked right into that. Before I should pick that up now. I don't know how deep it goes though. Okay it goes some deep. Unfortunately, we could lose all the blocks in there. And I think I might just dirt it over. Then. I don't know if he's actually going to attack me or not, because he seems to be blue. Oh, creeper. Too far away. I don't think it actually has any use, really. Like, you can't craft with it. I don't know, maybe you can put it in a in the furnace and do something with it, I'm not sure. But, I guess if I'm wandering around in the dark, I do not want to be here. I can pretty remember it's here. Give me some seeds. So yeah, I didn't get any zombie flesh, which is bad. So, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, there's no water around here, though, is there? I could try and plant them anyway. That's probably a bad idea. So, like a starve of death to starve definitely. Uh, I might, I can put some things away here, and I think I'm just going to go crazily chopping down those trees, and I hope I can get some, oh, that's a spider. That's so annoying. Oh, no, you don't like me. Apparently you're hunting at night, you bastard. Well, fuck off. Sorry for bad language there. I just don't like that. Hell, you never know if a spider's going to be aggressive or not, really. But it seems he was around at night time and saw me and didn't like me and he's held that resentment into the, into the day which is sad 
Why can't bygones be got bygones? Oh, there's loads of trees. Oh, the trees. That's five first night, which is nice. I didn't do that in the last attempt. Oh no, uh, I might have survived one night. I, I died in, during the night, which was not good. I tend to leave this um, F7 mode on a lot of the time, even though it's not really relevant at the moment. It doesn't really get in the way, it doesn't really seem to cause any slowdown. And it's really handy. And it reminds you how dangerous this area is if I stay around here too long. Yeah, so if I want to get apples. Come on, give me an apple. Apple, please. Nope. I remember apples were stupidly rare, and then they kind of became considerably less rare. But this is still not getting. Uh, actually, that's a good point. It's an old version of Minecraft, isn't it? Where are the apples? I am hungry. Not that, not that apple really do much. I mean, I just got chicken. A lot, of, a lot of people I see in this place just kill kill any animals they see, basically. Um, but the fact is, you have to cook the meat really, and oh, it's a turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Or something, isn't it? Yeah, you're going down, turkey. You're turkey. I think turkey meat's better than chicken meat, or at least it's the same. So, yeah, I tend, I tend not to like killing animals in the local area because you hope that, of course, they'll, um, well, especially chickens will drop eggs, and so you'll get end up with more chickens, and that's very nice. I tend to like having a chicken farm at some point. Quite early on. What was that? A boar? No, it's alright. This is a deer's. Deer's make weird noises like Oh, you're a little goat. Awesome. I have you seen a goat yet. It definitely feels... Mixed. It does make the world feel more alive to more creatures, but the aggressive creatures it adds are pretty overpowered. I think I might have left werewolves on still. That's my cow challenge, but I have taken off ogres just because I do not like... I've seen them in... On the Hat films, uh, Feed the Beast, Let's Play. They basically uh, uh, ogres just annihilate parts of their building because they just saw them and came crashing for them. Um, so they seem a bit uh, crazily scary. I mean, werewolves are scary as well, but you know, at least they don't destroy things. Uh, I, I wish I had planted some stuff. Oh, I got some more corn kernels. Uh, I find, I mean, usually I tend to find an NPC village quite nearby, uh, but I haven't. What shall I... I got, I got bone meal. I could actually, if I'm that desperate. The corn doesn't heal that much either. I think I'm desperate enough. I probably might do that actually. I've only got one corn seed. So I need to make a food <coughs> anyway. Which I might not be able to do. Oh no, I've got enough room in my entry. Yeah, finger bulb. You know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? But ho. Oh. I think this works. I think you can do it without water. Um, someone leaves in the bone mill, but keep it back in case you find a wolf, I guess. Don't get me some stuff. Uh. If you cook it, you can. It's a lot more health. All right. Well, that's something. I don't think I replant them because I do grow them stupidly slow without water. So I increase that like, amount of. Uh, yeah, I think that's worth putting a whole coal in there then just to cook all this food up. As long as I'm careful. I charcoal, so I don't have any coal yet because I have been well as unlucky. Let's put these in. That will stop me from starving to death, which is kind of nice. I'd rather not starve to death. And also, half health as well, which is not, not a healthy place to be. No, no, it won't take too long. Right. Oh, where did I get that string from? Oh, the spider. That's cool. I might be able to make a fishing rod then. Well, apparently there's an aggressive mob right above me. That's not nice. Uh, raw turkey. It's not a spawn. Mm, it's a little massive now. It's bad though. Yeah, okay, well, I'm back to full health, so that's good. And this chicken. Lovely cooked turkey. That looks, that looks actually, for a pixel 
Sprite, that looks really appetizing actually. <laughs> I've had a proper cab roast dinner for eight yonks. And I'll put the bone back in here. Oh, all got feathers as well. That chicken dropped two feathers? Oh, because the turkeys drop feathers as well. That's awfully, yeah, i got loads of wood now, which is nice. I think I might make some old charcoal. Let's put about, yeah, I don't know what, how many you can get off one coal. Oh, if this is enough, that would be amazing. I bet it's not going to be quite enough. Ah, sad times. Let's do a couple of sticks. I think it's, yeah, I think, I think, I think a stick is like half enough to do an item. Isn't it? Yeah, probably. There you go. Or it's enough to do a item? I'm not sure. <coughs> um, quite soon. What? Uh, wow. There's no river near me. Which is fun. What kind of bird is that? That's a weird looking bird. I'm going to go torch yet. Oh, we're not actually torch yet. Okay, there we go. I'm to the around. God, is it night already? Probably should go up earlier. Is a weird looking bird? Just tell me what it is. I haven't actually looked about what's above me yet. A bridge here. I suppose actually things won't actually spawn that near me because they don't. Oops, that was not a smart idea. Let's try and make. No, oh, I haven't got any torches. This will help somewhat, maybe. I can make a load more ones because I've just got all the charcoal. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think they will actually spawn that's too close to me. I actually need to put some more torches around here because currently they mostly. Oh no, I've got those. I've got those do. Now I've got like another torch, so I might make my project table. Which I wanted. Oh, let's put some more wood in there. I shall tell you, I'll put in. I'll literally just whack in this whole stack of wood and then get as much as And. Which would be at least. Yeah, that'd be a couple, right? And then I'll use this to make torches. That sounds decent. In my back. Because I'm a normal difficulty. But I'd rather not have to find out. Yeah. Yay, got some meat off him. I got two meat off him, that's awesome. Rotten flesh. Rotten flesh is perfectly decent. Yes, I've got 40 torches now. Nice. Let's make me a project table. So, where's all the, where's all the wood? Where's all the wood? Where's all the logs? Oh, oh yeah, it's in here. <laughs> Lols. Um, let's keep... Yeah, nine's a good amount. Let's keep nine as oak wood, and I'm going to turn the rest into planks. Pjomp. And since I've got so much... Let's make another chest from scratch. I'll use this crafting table I should already have in the chest. And I just have the I need the stone. I need four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Go back. Oh no, three. Sorry. No, I need four wood, which goes there. <laughs> Love. I think the butter table is a really good. I I, I really like red power too because everything in it is kind of really balanced. It's like you can start out early, but I mean making the stone sickle is something you can do like really early on. Um, and the project table you can make really early on, but they're not kind of overpowered, and they really just add, just add something. So it's then that. That's a noisy old fucking bird. I wonder if they can purposely make them annoying, so you'll just end up killing them. I'm not gonna do anything with that. Ah, uh, maybe I will. Do that, you can. 
Take directly down in Minecraft. Number one rule. Apart from you know it's there, <laughs> there are times when it's not such a dumb thing to do. He was around here. I don't know if he was on the surface and it's not, it's not dating, is it? No, it's middle of the night. What hurt him? Quicksand, maybe? I don't know. Sometimes they get killed on um, crystals from the quartz crystals from Zycraft. Gosh, I have not hit anything. This is really depressing. Oh, a uh, tip kind of worth noting here is... So I'm using FeedBeast Ultimate, but I've disabled some mods, and the way FeedBeast Ultimate is configured... Uh, not... what's the word? There is one of them, I can't remember what it's called now. Applied Ingestics, I think it is? Or, yeah, which I one of the ones I say. Well, it seems to have powered to me the idea of storing items in kind of infinite capacity and blah blah blah, it seems a bit crazy. Anyway, um, that was responsible for spawning iron and copper. So if I t since I took that out, industrial craft was set to, set to not spawn um, iron and copper. So uh, you have to re-enable that in the settings, which really kind of screwed me over. Because of course I had to travel quite far from, when, once I fi figured that out and re-enabled it, I had to travel quite far from where I started. That's it, I think the Let's Play I recorded, was that where it was that? Yeah, the Let's Play, the Let's Play on YouTube was from my casual server, um, casual single player game, but I'd I'd don't got quite far, but I had to start again effectively in a new place, because to actually have any, any chance of getting iron copper, and also silver as well I had to re-enable, um, because silver is usually is a Rapid 2 item, but it's also an item from possibly again, I think it might be applied logistics, so I had to manually re-enable that. It's almost morning. Got loads of wood. I think I might do some earth working in this area. Is it getting light enough? Yeah. Might come out. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Deposit this stuff. Okay, I shall keep the chicken. Deposit that. Deposit that. What I'll do is I'll put. I put all the kind of stuff I use for crafting. Uh, regularly in the bench. So all the wood, all the sticks, and all the cobblestone. Probably is about everything I need. That will keep there. That. Yeah, that's everything I think. I might take a couple of saplings out of me and start a tree farm nearby. That sounds like a plan. I need to find some water, really. I need to find some iron so I can make the bucket as well, but if I find some water nearby, I'll, I'll build a farm direct next to it. It's time. I might go out now. It might be safe. Yeah, screw it. Oh my shitting hell. That's a werewolf. That's a fucking werewolf. Okay, I'm not going... No. No. <laughs> I'm not going out there. <laughs> they cannot be harmed by conventional weapons. You have to have silver weapons to sit shit, which it makes them extremely kind of scary um, early game. Um, or, or gold, I think gold works as well. well that's really lame because I got a mine here which is doesn't doing nothing. Well, there were some uh, there were some exposed areas nearby. Oh, don't come near a creeper. Don't leave me alone. Yeah, there were some exposed um, mines and stuff nearby. Oh, I haven't done any checkpoints yet, have I? Actually, no, I'm not using that. I'm using this one. So I think it's B. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Stupid an international keyboard. Let's have it as a nice kind of warm colour. Well, that'll do. Um. Come on, it's not morning yet. Well, that's need to craft. Got enough pickaxes because I've got those ones there. 
Class of aluminium, I'm not doing anything with that yet. Make another chest, actually. Yeah, that's like a double chest. Yeah, that's the annoying thing when you're using a product table when you don't you want it to work like a normal table and it doesn't. That's kinda of annoying. Well that was really lame. I need to be accurate with my clicks. Is it morning? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. I haven't I didn't hear him transform. But I think he did. Hey, it's a skeleton. Let's get some more bone meal, because that might be the only way I can feed myself at the moment. Oh, we've got two endermen on me. That's a creeper as well. I might go and kill him. No, I actually this area is probably quite bad for fighting creeper on. Well, it depends if I can get him to come down. As long as I know I can go backwards, that's fine. Four hits to take him out. That was, okay, that was lame. For some reason, I screwed that up completely. Oh well, he's gone now, which is something. Oh gosh, almost got him. He seems to be shaking. Oh, I thought he was shaking then. I was kind of worried. Well, he is shaking a bit. He's he's bug. He's got a bugged mouth. It looks like. I it really frequently they got that bugged mouth. I'm gonna do some. Oh, shaking out. Stop walking around. Oh my dear. I don't want to look at you. What are the insects? Ah, yeah, here was... Here is a... Cave system. It might be the one I... F no, it wasn't the one I fell into. What was it? Here it was. Why just get bugged lighting? Oh, hey, there's coal in there. Well, that's something. Oh, crap. What's that noise? That's, uh... Okay, well this is a dead end, but that's nice if I want to get more cobblestone, which I don't. I get loads of cobblestone. Let's see if I can make this entrance area non-spawning. That'd be nice. Just anyone casually just wandering around. I like kind of uh, shaping the landscape, but making it more flat, because especially especially good against creepers. Um, you can fight them much more effectively. Come back, and then you'll be better with flat land, and it'll fall down anywhere. Oh, a snake right in my house. That's great. Let's put some dirt down. Oh, this is quite a tree, isn't it? I've done it yet. That's fine. I can get some coal. Coal is important. Oh, okay, I could just. You are annoying, but I don't think drop off things are useful. There are glow bugs, because you can use them as lights. I don't know if they're bright as a torch or whatnot, but... Got an arrow in my inventory, as my thing says. Oh! This thing's in here. It looks like he, just, he went towards me and fell down. Oh, is that a rat? This is not a rat. I hate rats. It's really hard to hit because they're so small. Oh, there's a zombie. There's an there. Well, I'm going to go this way. That's what they call this. I love coal. Do you like coal? You should like coal. There's a zombie. I think it's like mostly safe though. There's zombies and neutral mobs. Yeah, this is kind of nice because it's not actually, it doesn't go very deep. Should be able to quite happily make this area non spawning. Oh, you bastard, yeah. They don't, they don't have any darkness, I think, but they, they, do like, they work like skeletons, uh, it's like spiders. But they're more annoying because they attack really fast, they don't do a lot of damage. But they're hard to hit because they're so small, whereas a skeleton you just whack it in the face. A decent size seam. Okay, yeah, definitely a decent size seam. And some gravel here as well. I'll grab that. Occasion grab that. Oh, there you go. It's occasionally useful to have gravel. 
And of course I want the um Oh, I've got opening up to the outside oh, well, that's good. Let's get the lighter. Oh, I think this here would end soon. No, it just opens into somewhere else. Oh, it's this one. Okay, well you do that. And I'll let you. Get rid of it. Take all the car. I think this fell down somewhere, I think. So I might mark this. Where's okay? Let's just find an area which goes down. I must must muscle link to. Uh, I think it was yeah, like here, obviously. No, it doesn't go down that far. Oh shit! Oh, that's close. Yeah, like. Why you got? Why you got a on there? Oh, they can hit me it's a really weird place. It was marble here. Oh, it's not marble. No, it's, oh, it's not food. Come on, get me from there. I'm going to take some of my own That's lame. I'm missing him like a pro. Let's go, marble. Oh, key commands. It's, it's, there's so many uh, added key commands. Not all of them are configurable. 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 Whoa, shit, did that count? Please say it didn't count to look. Means I don't want to start on him because I don't really have the power. Captain, we don't have the power. That was a terrible spot to action. Never do that again. Okay, so that's why that is. That's interesting. So, I hate these lighting glitches. They're so annoying. I want to see what's there and it's one. Oh, fuck, perfect quicksand. I'll probably get rid of this as well. I need to look up what's useful. What are you useful, Quicksand? Using your amazing NEI. NEI says. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> oh, great! Whereas Oak Saxon, it should say for Oak Saxon, it's useful as Zychromium Soil. <laughs> it is. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's advanced. Okay, it's a wood cutting core, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> but yeah, it's Zychromium Soil. Huh, so you are useless. Why are you so useless? Well, I mean, you can use this for mob traps, I guess. Getting that far. Let's let this duck die. I want to see what happens, actually. Wow, that was a really quick death. That was kind of scary. How yeah, quickly he died. Let's get rid of this over. Okay, so yeah, let's go over with that. Easy way to do it. Dean down there for some random reason. Right, let's plant these trees. Make a tree farm. It's nice for a reason for air around here. I might actually just make it a bigger flat area. And kind of dig around right here. Leave a one block step there. Lighting a massive area is, is no mean feat, you know. Um, so you want to kind of create an area that's locked off. Now you could build walls, but walls are effort as hell. Um, so I prefer to have a small area which is either in the kind of shadow of a cliff or on top of a cliff. And therefore things that spawn around you aren't necessarily going to be able to get to you safely. Still, uh, it's, it's, it's coming towards the evening. Place that block there. Yeah. Some seeds as well. My hunger hasn't gone down yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, oh, I think ah, uh, I think corn kernels have a good amount of. They don't heal you that much, but they do stop you from getting hungry for a while, which is sweet. This is like what I need. So now I might actually use the dirt here. Completely flat this whole area out. This flat is good. If you're getting chased by a creeper or something. I don't want to get stuck in a block. 
planting the uh, rubber trees yet, which is not good, but I think since it's a swampy kind of area over there, it might be okay. Because I definitely want to get into industrial craft quite quickly. There's industrial craft rock. It is, it is just simply quite a good starting place. Um, he still needs quite a lot of iron to get there. Whereas at least with Red Power 2 things like the Scythe and things. And even actually Zycor Zycorodite is not too bad. Because um, it's quite abundant once you get to the right level for it underground. Um, some of those things you can... It requires iron to make it, but you can get into them quite early. Which is nice. Whereas things like Railcraft and others, you really can't. Uh, get into weight and weight and great and computer craft as well. They they require like um, rare resources. Oh shit! Okay, let's be quick and plant these. Got three clears. Put one there. So I do the I do the two torch system of tree farming. It makes it easier to, to remember where you planted it before. So you've got this place and it's, if you got if you find two torches like that and there's not something plant a tree planted between them, then you know that you probably need to plant a tree between them. And it makes it grow faster, obvs. Uh, I don't really need to light this area that much, but because nothing's gonna spawn here while I'm here. But let's dump a few torches down. Let's get that is probably actually the most dangerous place because. All the things can spawn there. Oh, I'm out of torches. Great. Retreat! At this point, I haven't found anything digging down here. 